Business ownership and economic flow. There are three basic ways that businesses organize, organize to earn profit. The first way is proprietorship. This is one owner. The owner will take all of the risks, but he'll also take all of the profits. He will make all of the money from the business venture. Partnership. Partnership is two or more owners who share the risks and profits. Note that it can also be more than two. A partnership could be three owners, it could be four owners, it could be five owners. Corporation. A corporation is a business organization authorized by the law to act as a legal person regardless of the number of owners. For instance, Coca-Cola would act as a legal organization. Even if there were 500 owners of the company, it would act as Coca-Cola when representing the business. The, all of the owners would share the profits and the owner liability is limited to the amount of investment they actually make. Shares are usually sold in these companies and that's how people make investments in the company. It depends on how many shares that you have, that depends on how much money you make and also how much money you could lose if the company isn't doing well. Entrepreneur. This is a person who takes risks to produce goods and services in search of profit. They may establish a business according to any of the three previous types of organizational structures we just covered. Economic flow. Economic flow, this is the resources, goods, and services and money that flow continuously among households, businesses, and markets in the U.S. economy. Money does not remain stagnant in the U.S. economy. If you have a dollar, most likely, eventually, you are going to spend that dollar somewhere. Maybe that place that you spend it at, they turn it into the bank. The bank gives it out to someone else. That dollar is constantly moving, as well as resources. When we buy resources, those, person, those resources move from person to person. Things that you need to know about economic flow. Individual and business, saving investment, provide financial capital that can be borrowed for business expansion and increased consumption. In other words, if I own a business, I can go to the bank and borrow money for my business. Individuals and households also own resources used in production. They can sell those resources and they can use the income to purchase products. Business producers buy resources. They make products sold to individuals and other individuals, other businesses, and the government and use these profits to buy more resources. Governments use tax revenue from individuals and businesses to provide public goods and services. Examples of this would be national parks, um, it would be the roads that we use, a lot of the infrastructure of this country. Private financial institutions channel funds from savers to borrowers. I have a savings account at a bank that bank will use my savings and lend it out to borrowers. The borrowers will then pay interest on the amount of money they've borrowed. So they will have a monthly payment. Um, and part of that monthly payment every month will be interest. So they will pay above what they originally borrowed. Some of this money goes back to the saver, but this is also a large part of the reason why banks are successful. This is how banks make their money. Private financial institutions include banks, savings and loans, and credit unions. They receive deposits of money and they also make loans to people. They encourage saving investing by paying interest on deposits. Virginia and the U.S. pursue international trade in order to increase wealth. 
global economy. This is a worldwide market in which the buying and selling of goods and services by all nations takes place. Why do people trade internationally? They do this in order to obtain goods and services that they can't produce efficiently themselves. They also buy goods and services at a lower cost or opportunity cost. They sell goods and services to other countries. This helps them to create jobs. Virginia and the U.S. specialize in the production of certain goods and services which promote efficiency and growth. Impact of technological innovations. Innovations in technology, like for instance the internet, contribute to global flow of information, capital, goods, and services. They help greatly in producing goods efficiently, faster and better. The use of such technology also lowers the cost of production.